question 12, you are asked to, um, uh, you've got a shape here, which is a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, and you're asked to reflect the shape in the mirror line. So all you've got to do is copy this shape over here. Now, um, you know, because there's um, diagonals and lines going on, that can be quite hard. I'd start with things on, on squares like this. I'd firstly copy that point over. Oh, well, firstly, I'll copy that point. That point stays on the mirror line. That point is two away, so it's going to be two away here. This point here, I'll do it in a different colour just to make it obvious. That's one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six squares. And I'll go for a different colour here just for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know that because that's six away. So I'm going to go six away along here, which is going to be here. Now all I've got to do is join the dots. Take your time with that. Just make sure you don't get it wrong and start trying to just draw a line uh, and get it wrong. Put in the corners first to make it nice and easy for yourself and you get something that looks like that. Take a, a glance at it. Is it reflected in the mirror line? Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. And you're done on that. Okay, next question. On the grid, enlarge the shade using a scale factor three. Now. The, the really nice thing about this question is you're not given a centre of enlargement. You're just told to make that bigger by a scale factor of three. That means three times bigger. Okay, so all you've got to do is draw that shape, but make it three times bigger. Okay, so let's put a corner. There's that corner. Let's start off, I don't know, let's just start here. Now, it's one up. Now, you want to make it three times bigger, so you're going to make it three up. One, two, three. It's two across. You're going to... Multiply that by three, so it's going to be six across. So two, four, six. There you go. And the last point, well, the lot this point here is three across and two up from from that corner. So three across, you're going to go. You're going to multiply it by three. You're going to go nine across. So three, six, nine, and you're going to go two. Uh, you you went two up in the original shape, so you're going to go six up. So two, four, six, and there we go. Now all you've got to do is join the dots then, and happy days, you've got it. And there you go, you've got the shape, and it's three times bigger, and you're done. But it says there's a different shape. Here is a different shape. Work out the size of angle X. Now, the first thing you've got to do here um, is look very carefully at this information, it's vital. It says the diagram is not drawn accurately. You are not, and I repeat not, and I'm gonna do it and then take it away, supposed to get this protractor out and measure the thing because it's not an accurate drawing. Delete that. You are supposed to use your knowledge of quadrilaterals. Now, you should know that inside a four-sided shape, the interior angles, the inside angles, add up to 360. So let's write that down. The interior angles add to 360. That's a rule you've got to know about quadrilaterals. You've just got to know that. In the same way that you know the inside and interior angles of a triangle add to 180, inside a four-sided shape they add to 360. Now you also know that this sign here means 90 degrees. So the question is, what is this angle here? Okay, so what you can do is, um, you know the angles add up to 90, so there are two ways of doing it. I would prefer writing that x plus 37 plus 90 plus 128 must add up to 360, and then finding x. Um, but others might prefer to do a different way. They might prefer to add these up first. So if I was to add those up, what I'd probably do is I'd add the 90, Well, actually, do you know, uh, if I was if I was going to add those up and it's non-calculated paper and I didn't want to make a mistake, I'd actually make that 35 instead, take two off and add the two on here. Do you know what I mean? Take the two from there and put it there to make it easier. And then you've got a simple calculation, 35 plus 90 plus 130. Now, 90 plus 130, all you've got to do is just take a second to think about that and you realise it's 220 and then add the 35 you get yourself 255. Now you want to get up to 360, so what does this x have to be here to add up to 360? 
Well, five will get you to 260, so 105 will get you to 360. So 105 degrees would be the answer there, and we're done. Now, you could add those normally uh, in a column addition. You could say 128 plus 90 uh, plus 37 like that, and you could do 7 at, at 8 is 15, put down the 5, uh, carry the 1. 1 and 2 is 3, 3 and 9 is 12, 12 and 3 is 15, put down the 5, carry the 1, and 1 and 1 is 2, 2, 5, 5, and then get the same thing. But I think if you just do use a bit of number sense, you could actually make the calculation easier for you to do, or even as a double check method, and we're done.